Hey guys, this is Robbie from Save Stores, and I'm going to show you how to do some of those new background fills while you're digitizing. So right here we have our Dream Machine 2. We're going to go into My Design Center. I'm going to come in here and on our screen here we have a button that says line. I have a line illustration drawing done. Let me get it here so you guys can see. It's one of those tomato pin cushions. I'm sliding it onto the machine. It's on our scanning mat. And all I have to do is hit line, scan, OK. And it's going to go ahead and take a picture of what's in the hoop. And there we have our picture. So now we have these two bubbles in the top uh, left and bottom right. And what they are is so that we can drag it up and it makes a little red box. And what this does is tells it what we don't want it to look at when we're doing our digitizing. So we're going to kind of just get rid of as much of this background area as we can. These green spots are the magnets that were on the hoop or on the, uh, yeah, on the hoop. And then here's our grayscale detection. So with this being a very crisp line art, um, I really don't have to mess with it much, but you can move it up or down and you might lose or gain some detail as you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So there's my picture here on the screen and I can hit set. And now I can come in here and actually paint it. So if I wanted to turn some of these uh, pin heads a different color, I can come in here. I can pick, I don't know, blue. Do a couple of these in blue. I think there's always the yellow ones, so we'll do some yellow. And then we'll put some fun oops, uh, pink ones in here, so we'll just do some pink. And all I'm doing here is I touch my paint pail, and then down here is all of our attributes for that. So now if I wanted to do silver, I can come into here, and now I can touch all of these little pins. Whoops, and down here my favorite button, undo. So they're all colored in. Now we can come into here and I can pick my green. That's a very healthy green. And I can come in here and I can shade our little top. And then what I want to show you is where we can go in and use some of the backgrounds. So the new update has five new backgrounds. Of course the update isn't out yet so I'm going to use the ones that we have built in here. So this is our fill. This is a stipple, this is not to sew, and these are our decorative fills. So I'm going to come into here and we'll just pull up the first one here, say OK, and we're going to change it to red. And then I'll just touch the first one, and then I can go in here, select the next one, OK, set, and then we can do this one, this one, and then we can come into here, pick another one, we'll pick that one, and just do here and here and here and here so you can see here how we can go in and we can fill in all of these areas have it all colored we hit next so this is where we have our pull compensation here auto determines the direction but if you had certain areas that you wanted to go in, in uh, different air directions so to show um, reflection thread looks different at different light angles um, you can change it there. This is our density, so you can raise and lower it right here. Um, and then this is to do our outline, or under sewing, I'm sorry. Right now it's turned off, but for any of these you can turn it on. Um, and it will do some uh, under stitching underneath your embroidery to help hold it in place. Um, and then we can go in here to preview. And there it is all ready to sew out. So super, super easy. We've got all of our colors right here. So as soon as we're ready to sew, all we do is hit set. Okay. And now there it is on the embroidery screen, ready to sew. Just like that. Super, super easy. Um, digitizing on this machine is not hard at all. Um, it groups everything. So if you look up here in the corner, all those reds that I picked, are the same reds that I did my uh, tops of my pins with. So it all puts it all together so it makes it very, very easy to sew out. Um, nothing that you're going to fight with, nothing to be intimidated from. So now you can go online and get all kinds of different designs. Pull them up here, scan them in, sew them out, have fun.